Guys, you will not believe the Pokemon cards that I just found, and let's just say it includes Marvel. What's good everybody, Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing two things in today's video. The first thing being is we're opening up some V Union Pokemon boxes. The second thing is we're going to be revealing some exclusive Pokemon cards featuring Marvel characters. So without further ado guys, if you are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the Ghoul Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below, make sure you guys include the hashtag Ghoul Army because y'all already know the drill, my guy. So with that being said, guys, we are going to go ahead and start things off with this more Peko V Union Collection box and just look at it. It is absolutely adorable. You can actually buy these more Peko boxes for dirt cheap because, well, let's be honest, nobody wants them. And then here is the back of the box in case you guys are curious on what's inside the box itself. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so first thing you get is obviously the promo cards themselves. So here is all four pieces of the Morpeko V Union set. And I will be putting a value of the entire set on the screen just so you guys know how much it's going for you feel me and then apparently you get this professor burnett in every single v union box you feel me and it's actually a promo so here is the code card and then obviously you guys get a jumbo version of that v union card and i'm not gonna lie it's actually pretty dope but i just don't like the price point of these boxes with that being said, guys, we got our first pack, and it is Brilliant Stars. We got the star of the show with the more Peko, and I actually like the pack selection from this box. But let's just go ahead and start things off with Fusion Strikes, since it's not been the kindest set to me, you feel me? And plus, we've opened up a lot of Fusion Strike on the channel, so let's go ahead and save the Brilliant Stars for last. So let's see if we can get some more Mew cards from these Fusion Strike packs. So we got ourselves a Vicavolt, and then we got the final Fusion pack, you feel me? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I do not know the correct pack trick like it's kind of confusing with these sword and shield sets i'm not gonna lie so we got a quillfish vulpix chansey zigzagoon voltorb and a gudra rare so next up we got the beautiful brilliant stars get everybody so let's see if we can get some heat or something absolutely insane from this set i love brilliant stars i'm not gonna lie it's like one of those sets like evolving skies i just absolutely love it and i have fun opening up the set because you can get double bangers within this set itself so we got a gibble we got a trap pinch we got a blunder policy and a tornadus regular rare so we got the charizard pack for last let's see if we can get ourselves a nice charizard within this pack and if we get absolutely nothing y'all know why i hate opening up collection boxes but i've never opened up this more peckle box on the channel so that's basically why i'm opening it up right now so we got a sneasel a nose pass and a dredagon regular rare everybody unfortunately but guys even though that more peckle box was absolutely depressing we got something special right in front of me and yes that is a pokemon card you guys see because i'm trying to cover you know the spoilers from these cards i got them i think i ordered these like a month ago and they finally arrived everybody there's only one downside i honestly thought these were holographic or like a foil but unfortunately they're not however they are still some amazing looking card so guys let me take them out of the top loaders all of that jazz and let's get down to business 
Alright guys, so the first Marvel card is a rare Dredagon card, everybody. No? No? Let me stop, because that was absolutely ridiculous. So the first card, y'all, is none other than a Pikachu and Thor GX, everybody. Look at that. It's quite fitting, because it's Thor, the God of Thunder, and then we got Pikachu, which is an electric type, and it can actually use the move Thunder. So check it out, guys. Look at the card in all its gloriness. It has Thunder Jolt as well as God of Thunder GX. And it has 300 HP, and it is indeed a tag team card. Man, I miss them tag team cards, bro. Having two Pokemon as, like, the main star of the card is absolutely amazing. But let's go ahead and continue, guys. We got the Pikachu and Thor. And then we got the Scizor and Iron Man, which makes sense because Scizor is a steel type. It's red. You know, it kind of has those Iron Man vibes. So check that out. We got Double Claw and Steel Cut, which is basically basic moves. You feel me? I feel like this card is more oriented to Scizor instead of Iron Man because with Pikachu, both of these moves, Thor can basically use them. You feel me? As opposed to Iron Man, Iron Man doesn't have claws absolutely not i guess it can use its lasers but that's not the same thing so let's go ahead and continue guys let's see what else we got we got a machamp and hulk gx everybody look at that and the machamp is actually green as well so it's kind of fitting machamp is strong it has a lot of muscles just like the hulk is it smart like the hulk or bruce banner i should say I don't think so, you feel me? I don't think Machamp has those knowledgeable skills. But let's go ahead and continue, guys. Absolutely amazing cards. Nonetheless, we got the Hulk and Machamp. And before we continue, guys, let me know in the comments down below, who is your favorite Marvel character, you feel me? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, my favorite Marvel character is going to be Ghost Rider. 100% Ghost Rider is just absolutely cool looking, amazing, and I love it. You feel me? Second, I would have to say Spider-Man or like Venom. I don't know, bro. There's just so many amazing, cool looking Marvel characters that I absolutely love. So let's go ahead and continue with this next card. We got a Pikachu Libre and Captain America GX. I feel like they could have used a different Pokemon for this tag team like braviary you feel me like that literally screams captain america my guy like i have no idea why they would reuse a pikachu literally the wrestling pikachu at that like that doesn't really fit captain america if i'm being honest and they even covered my boy's head like we got the headless captain america right here bro it's still a dope piece don't get me wrong absolutely cool looking but let's see what the final card is is it is none other than a thanos gx ladies and gentlemen look at that that is insane infinity gauntlet bro look at how much energy you need to use that move and let's see this attack destroys half of your opponent's deck at random bro literally half of your opponent's deck is gone it is g g so actually now that i think about it this card is probably only useful if you can get it if you can use the move in the beginning of the game because that's when cutting half the cards actually matters but check out the first attack for literally one colorless energy it does 500 damage so i guess you don't really need the final attack because you can literally knock out every pokemon with one hit and i'm not gonna lie my boy right here might be my favorite Marvel character. I totally forgot about him, and I'm not gonna lie. Such an amazing character, if I do say so myself. But check it out. These are all of the Marvel cards featuring some amazing Pokemon. And actually, this one did not feature a Pokemon, but it did feature, you know, a Pokemon card, some Pokemon mechanics, like the GX attacks, and what not so let me know which card is your favorite in the comments down below and now let's move on into the mewtwo v union box 
So here it is, guys. We got the Mewtwo V Union Special Collection Box. I've been wanting to open this one up for a while, so I'm finally glad that I am. So let's get it, man. One eternity later. Alrighty, guys. So again, we got the Professor Burnett promo card, and then we got the code card for the Ghoul Army, and then we have the beautiful Mewtwo V Union cards, and I am blessed to add this to the collection. You feel me? Now, normally, I don't really keep these V Union cards, but since I have a personal collection of Mewtwo itself, I am definitely keeping these cards, but does it take down the Thanos GX, everybody? Does it take it down? I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. We're gonna go ahead and put the Mewtwo on the pool pile, which is difficult to do, but it must be done. And then you guys get a jumbo card of the Mewtwo, which I'm also going to be keeping, but check out the pack selection, guys. This one actually came out a while back, so you actually get a variety. We got Evolving Skies, Chillin' Rain, Vivid Voltage, and Sword and Shield Base. This was basically around the time, when this box released, it was basically around the time that everybody was marking up these V Union boxes for like double, triple the price. It was absolutely insane. But we're going to go ahead and start things off with Base, Chillin' Rain, Vivid Voltage, and end things off with the beautiful Evolving Skies. And hopefully, bro, hopefully we can get a single pool or something along those lines, everybody. So we got ourselves a fire energy within our sword and shield base booster pack. We got a Wooloo, we got a Glossifer, and a Dreadnought regular rare. So nothing there, guys, nothing there, but we still got Chillin' Rain looking for our first banger of the video, bro. Can we get it? We got a water energy. We got a lucky energy. Am I feeling lucky that I'm gonna get a Galarian Moltres? Kinda. It's like a 50-50, I'm not gonna lie. So we got a Golet, Doug Trio, and a Shadow Rider V Max, everybody. So that right there is our first pool of the video. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take down the special GX card and put a real pool as the star of the show. So we got two packs left. We got Vivid Voltage up next. Let's see what Vivid has to offer, everybody. Let's do four to the front. We got a Darkness Energy. We got a Loud Red. We got a Pineco. Clefairy. We got a Meowth. And a Banette Regular Rare. So it all comes down to this amazing set. Evolving Skies, everybody. Can we get the $300 Umbreon alternate artwork VMAX, bro. If we get that card, I will literally lose it, everybody. So we got a Fighting Energy. We got ourselves a Shopping Center. We got a Swablu. We got a Petalil. And a Tentacruel Reverse. And our final card is a Wishy Washy Regular Rare. I honestly thought I was going to get something because I saw a white coat with a black border and I thought that was the good thing for Sword and Shield, but now I honestly do not know everybody. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and see exactly what I got. So basically, our only pool, only star of the show is the Shadow Rider VMAX, but look at all of these amazing V Union cards that I got. Well, it's only more Peko and Mewtwo, but they're still amazing. I'm not going to lie. But check out these Marvel cards. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.